Welcome to another episode of Tiffin Box TV. I speak with photography industry leaders who make it a habit of inspiring others, bridging craft and commerce to help you create a sustainable and creative business. Today's guest is no stranger to Tiffin Box. Her name is Marie Moss. She's a photographer and a, the publisher behind Fearless and Framed, one of my favorite, favorite blogs and favorite websites, actually. She's going to be telling us a little bit more about what she's just up to re recently. Uh, she's 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 such a dynamic person, to be honest with you. Uh, every time I talk to her, I get I learn something new. And just a few minutes ago, I learned something new about my Mac. So y this this should tell you how exciting this <laughs> <laughs> the next ten minutes is going to be. Marie, thanks for joining us today. Thank you for having me back on Tiffin Box again. I this know, I know. This exciting. is a, I know. I do, you were here what about a, a couple months ago, I think, and yeah. we had a great time talking about Fearless and Framed. Mm -hmm. um, and you aren't stopping at just providing blog posts for photographers who are interested in documentary photography. You're actually giving them the tools that they can mm -hmm. connect with future clients. And the new tool that you've just launched is called Profitable Photography Workshops for Moms. Mm -hmm. um, I, I sat through your 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 webinar the other day and I was amazed at how comprehensive this is. Uh, tell yeah. us a little bit about, you know, really why, number one, why this course or this course for uh, photographers is so critical and then perhaps tell us a little bit more about uh, your experiences working with clients uh, who have gone through the course. Sure. So basically, my audience at Fearless and Framed is still trying to connect with potential clients. And they're like, nobody really understands this. A lot of people will be like, oh, yeah, lifestyle, documentary photography, I get it. But they still show up to a session overdressed or staring at the photographer like, what are we supposed to do? So I thought that what, when I was doing beginner workshops for moms in my area pretty frequently, I was using this as a way to, I, I, don't, I wouldn't say show off my work, but show the why behind the photos. And I found that at these workshops, the moms weren't just learning how to use their cameras, they were totally inspired at the photos. So, I mean, I know you can see some of the photos on the walls behind me. I sure can, um, yeah. Every single one of those photos have a memory inside of them. And when I brought that realization to these moms, they were just blown away. And so I've had moms that have turned into clients eventually, not necessarily right at the workshop, but it, just from building that community of, I mean, there's this common core topic that we're talking about photography and it's more than photography. It's preserving our memories of our kids. So like all of my workshop attendees, for example, go into a Facebook group. So when they are in there, if you're keeping that engaged and you're building your email list, you're just maintaining relationships with these people through the marketing that you're already doing, they are responding to you more than if they just found you on Facebook because they know you. Like they've, they've felt your energy. They have this connection with you that's totally different than online marketing, which I feel like a lot of people are kind of hiding behind today and are neglecting to go out and just forge new relationships and make contacts on a local level in person. Awesome. So so, so, give, so this is sort of a, uh, a I guess, a, a reason to meet in a way, mm -hmm. right? Right. Yeah. And it's marketing that you're getting paid to do, which I think is even cooler because they're they're purchasing a ticket to their workshop seat. And you are teaching them how to use their camera. You're teaching them very basic things. I mean, I was saying on the webinar, you have to teach people the letters of the alphabet before you can teach someone to read. And this is just, it's such simple stuff at this workshop that I run. And yet all of my students are coming back to me like, oh my gosh, now I can create photos with blurry backgrounds because they had no idea that their kit lens doesn't really allow for very much bokeh behind there. And just small things like that, you're making a change with them. And when somebody is leaving you with this positive impact, like they just start to trust in you and they know, they like, they trust you. And they are going to remember you when their need for photography pops up or when they are talking to their friends about photography that they're going to remember you. And so your word of mouth is going to increase. And I think one of the concerns photographers have when they start doing workshops is am I creating competition and am I 
eliminating the need for someone to come back to me as a photographer. Well, let's face it, as photographers, we still hire photographers. So I think that that eliminates that. And if somebody is really gung-ho about learning photography to take it to the business level, they're going to learn one way or the other, whether you're helping them or not. So, and nobody can rep replicate you. So I think that those, anyway, those needs are, or those concerns aren't really a concern when you think about it. But anyway, so the workshops, mm -hmm. you can do a couple of things with these and you can make these more of an income based thing. I did six years of direct sales and learned how to book parties from parties. And when I combined that approach into my mom workshops, if you are offering a mom an incentive to host a workshop, whether that's half off of a session or a free session, you know, whatever floats your boat, you can really use these workshops as means for to let these moms help you break into their circles of friends and get in front of people in a real life scenario that you never would otherwise meet. So the workshops can do so much. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Um, and, and you you're not expecting people to do day long workshops. So you can be no. a fairly short, uh, yes. sort of experience for mm -hmm. your, for the moms, I guess, in this this mm -hmm. situation. Um, yeah. Is it only limited to moms? I mean, I know a lot of dads with DSLRs. <laughs> you know, they they've come up to me and said, "Hey, right. uh, I've got a D five and I have no mm -hmm. idea how to use it." And yeah. Um, so is this going to be open to moms and dads? It's anybody. I really, I, so I created this profitable photography workshops for moms because that was my experience. When I was focused on photographing families, it was the moms that were my main point in contact every time. And they were, um, like there was someone that I could relate to because I, at the time, I mean, I still have young kids that are five and almost three, but they, these moms I could connect to on such a personal level that it just made sense. You're getting in front of a room that is your ideal target client. So whoever that ideal target client is for you is who you want to fill those workshops up with. Indeed. Uh, I recall teaching a local group here um, mm -hmm. at the Avon Library. Uh, there was just a, about five or ten people who were interested in using their iPhones. So is mm -hmm. this is this really geared the course that you teach is this really geared for folks who have DSLRs or is it for folks who have iPhones as well? So it definitely DSLRs because okay. a whole segment is on the exposure triangle and getting into manual mode which of course phones can't do. Right. And so I've gotten that question quite a bit when people are looking at it they're like can I come I I really want to know more about photography but I don't have a DSLR. And I'm just honest with them. I say, there's a whole segment that won't really pertain to you right now, but then there's a whole half of the workshop that's all about light and composition and um, what to photograph. And that anybody can listen in on. So I tell them, absolutely, they can come, mm -hmm. but now no one has ever shown up with just an iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. There you go. <laughs> it's always good to educate your prospective clients, whether they're t your yeah. students or your actual clients as well. Um, yeah. Tell us a little bit more about the the course. Uh, what does it contain? What, I mean, what can one expect when they buy uh, profitable photography workshops for moms? Sure. So this is really a whole implementation plan. Okay. It has an ebook that has forty pages in it and no images. And there's not. It's not just a manual that is boring to read. It shares some experiences and it even has like email templates, for example. One thing I recommend to anybody that's never done a workshop before is to do a beta workshop. And I have a really specific email that I send whenever I do a beta um, product of any sort for that matter, and it's worked every time. Um, it's basically offering people a discount to be the first group to try this out. And so they get the ebook, and then they get my four-part workshop video series, which is me. It's like you're going to be listening to me as if you were a non-photographer. So you're buying the license to use my workshop. It also comes with a transcript of those videos. So you can use that to inspire your own workshop or you can replicate it. I don't care. Just take it and run with it. Go meet people. But the thing is, is I think what a lot of people miss is that it's not just about what topics to cover at your workshop. I, because of all of my experience in direct sales, 
I've really mastered this art of planting these seeds, I call them, where you're in your workshop and you're talking about, oh, look at this photo. I took this at this client session because of X, Y, and Z. So you're kind of like planting the seed of what they could get out of a session while teaching them at the exact same time. Um, so they're getting that. They're getting a whole workshop planner to get these built in like 30 days. I don't want somebody to buy this and let it sit there. Like it's meant to be implemented quickly. There's cheat sheets to hand out to the students awesome. at the workshops, yep. um, which I think are really, really valuable. Um, it comes also with the support group for Facebook. So that way you can get in there and talk to other instructors. And I feel like there's more in there that I'm forgetting because there's so much in there. The first thing that you actually receive when you purchase it is a survival guide because there are like close to 16 different downloads that you're getting, which is the, the workbook, the cheat sheets, the videos, wow. the planner, all that good stuff. Oh, the biggest thing. I'm totally leaving out the biggest thing. <laughs> the slideshow template. So there's what? someone, I actually, the secret is this. I never used PowerPoint and slideshows at my workshops. I literally just printed off five by seven photos and passed them out. But if you have the technology, a slideshow is definitely the way to go. So this template, you can drop in your photos. There's different varieties for each slide, but each slide has the content from my workshop already filled. So you don't have to do the text portion. All you have to do is drop in your photos and it's unbranded. So you put your own logo in it, your own everything. It's not, you're, you're not purchasing like this company owned thing that you are going to have to be like, Oh, this is from fearless and framed because this isn't about me. This is about you breaking in and making relationships in your community. Wow, this is so, yeah. so rich. I mean, I'm blown away by all that you've put together <laughs> in, this, in this package, really. Uh, that's really amazing. Uh, where can one find out more about profitable photography workshops for moms? Go to fearlessandframed.com, and in the navigation menu, you'll see the shop, and awesome. it's listed right in there. Marie, thank you so much for telling us a little bit about uh, this new tool that one could use to connect to more potential clients. I think this is mm -hmm. a, a huge bonus for all of us, I think, uh, because we're all looking for clients that would connect to what we do. And, you know, as documentary portrait photographers, uh, mm -hmm. you know, we are always looking for those right clients, you know, the clients that yeah. will actually get us, get mm -hmm. the kind of work that we can produce for them. And, and you know, messaging that has always been a challenge for me personally. So this mm -hmm. is a great opportunity to uh, get in front of people and say, hey, this is what we can do for for you without smothering them with, you know, kind of a s spammy sales pitch. You know, it's yeah. really very uh, soft. It's a soft sort of touch way of <laughs> talking to people about why this kind of work is important perhaps for them uh, yeah. and maybe see if it's a good fit. I mean, some people it may not mm -hmm. be a good fit at all, you know, right. and Absolutely. they want to, they would rather go to JC Penny, you know, which is, yeah. which is okay. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think it makes sense uh, that you've given people a, a real, I, I call it a tool. I don't know if well, that's why you do how you do, you define it, but yeah. I look at it as a, as a, as a marketing tool. That's not overly like over the top, you know, it's sort of very, mm -hmm. You, you talk to them about your art, you talk to them about how you, yeah. you, you know, they can learn your art in a way, right? Yes, yeah. yeah. And it's, I think that's that's huge. I mean, that's just in a way, such a very powerful way to, of connecting with future clients. So um, yeah, I appreciate which, all that you're doing. Thank you. Thank you. We'll talk to you soon. Take care. Okay, sounds good. Thank you so much for having me. Take care, Marie. Bye. Bye. Bye.